Hi you guys out there, it's me Alina with 101 Ways of Art and this video is my tutorial on how I made my huge big jack-o-lantern. I've been wanting to make a big huge jack-o-lantern for a couple of years now and I finally tried and I was successful in it so here's my video on how I did it. I started with some stuffing and a trash bag. The trash bag determined the size of my pumpkin but if you want a smaller pumpkin, then you just use a smaller bag. I also used an old wire hanger for a hook inside the pumpkin and for my pumpkin stem. I put the wire hanger upside down and then I taped the bag closed. Get any string to tie the bag up like a pumpkin. Then I taped up the part of the hanger that was my stem. So I made my pumpkin out of paper mache. So you guys are going to need a lot of paper and any paper will do. Paper mache time, and that means time to make a big mess. I used glue and water to make my paper mache mix, and I put it in a very big bowl. I put all my strips in the glue and water mix, and I started to build my paper mache pumpkin. Overlapping your paper strips will make your pumpkin much more stronger. I wanted my pumpkin to be real strong since it was so big, so I did about five layers of paper mache. I made a paper stem for my pumpkin and taped it up and kept building on the stem with the paper mache. Next, I did a thin layer of newspaper and then I let that dry as well. Finally, when the newspaper was all dry, I took my marker and made a spooky pumpkin face. I cut out my pumpkin's face with some scissors. Then I pulled out all the stuffing and the plastic bag through the eye holes. I already knew I wanted my pumpkin to be an outside prop, so I was thinking of ways to weatherproof it. So my husband came up with a great idea for using a Bondo fiberglass resin kit to protect it from the weather. He used a plastic container to mix up the resin in lots of paper towels and gloves to protect his hands. Follow the directions on the fiberglass resin kit and cover your whole pumpkin with it. Don't forget to apply it to the inside of the pumpkin as well. When he was all done he let it dry for 24 hours and then he sanded it down a little bit. After letting it dry and sanding it down a little bit it was time to paint our pumpkin. We just used spray paint to paint our pumpkin. Now since we put the hanger inside, the hook is hanging upside down through my pumpkin stem. So you can put a light bulb in it or you can hang some lights from it. And that's it, my pumpkin was complete. Me and my husband really enjoyed making this big jack-o'-lantern. And I think it came out better than I really expected it to. So I'm really excited for next year to make him a body. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you vote, comment, and subscribe. And have a happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.